One of the very useful tools, particularly for research and for students in Word 2013 or Word 365, is the use of citations and bibliography sections here under the References tab in Microsoft Word. This tool gives you the option to build and manage your sources as you're doing research. You select the style that you use for your papers and then you basically combine them and keep track of all those sources and resources as you're doing your research. And then at the end of your research or research paper, you can simply create a bibliography or the EndNotes section or the references or works cited section. So here's how it works. Let's say we have this document and of course usually this takes place during the research process that you document these sources but let's assume we are doing that as we are going in this document. So let's say here we are citing a section of this and now here we want to in insert the citation so all you have to do is let's say we are in the home tab and then we go here under references then you go under insert a citation so it's basically to give credit to a source of information citing the book article and so on for purposes of academic requirements so you click here under add a new source and then we basically can insert here any of those types. It can be a book, a book section, a journal, article, a periodical, a report, a website, and so on. So basically, each one of those has to be cited a specific way for that specific format. And by the way, first, what you probably need to do is select the style that you're going to use. So notice there's a whole bunch of styles for writing your papers. In this case, I'm going to just going to choose the APA style. This is more uh, widespread, particularly in grad education and certain types of sciences. So we go here under APA. Now we click on Insert Citation, Add a New Source, and let's say it's a book. And we just simply have to insert here the fields that are required. The computer will take track, will keep track of how to format it and how to display it and all that type of stuff. So uh, here under author, we can put the year it was published, the city. Then if you wanted to insert here additional fields, you can, like if it's a multi-volume and so on. So you can click on additional fields and then you can put the volume, the number of pages and so on, the addition. So all these different pieces of information. Then you simply click OK. Now this, it formats it correctly here. And now we move somewhere else on the paper. Now let's suppose that this is also a quote as well. And as you know, probably this needs to be formatted slightly different. And then let's say here we want to post a reference to enter the reference. So we click on insert, add new source, and then we put here and then simply click on OK. Then it could also be an article from the web that we got parts of the information here. So to cite an article from the web, you simply click on insert citation. And then we choose here, add a new source. And then we choose instead of a book, we go and choose a website or a document from a website. So under the document from a website, the way it kind of works is that, so in this case, let's say we have an article from a website and this is for example from CNN and it's this article written by Melanie Hicken and it's up, it's accessed on October 12, 2014. And this is the actual article. So how do we cite this? Well, the way to cite that is by simply filling in this information. So we put in the information here and then the name or the website. 
So this would be the name of the web page. So this, in this case, it would be the title of the article, then the year. This is the year when it was published, the month, and the day. And then we want to put the URL as well for it. And then if we click here and show more, you can also put in some cases, you might have to put in here the year it was accessed and the date and the month that it was accessed. Because information changes so rapidly on the web. If somebody goes to view this information, you need to determine that on that particular date and time, you are able to access it, even though now it may no longer be available. And then simply click OK. And now it entered this reference. The other thing is that you can, again, you can go elsewhere in the document, add a new source, and basically pick some kind of other source. For, for example, if it's a sound recording, here's how you state it the composer, the performance, the year, and all that type of thing. If it was an interview, this is how you cite the interview, the name, and so on. That's how it kind of works. Now, what happens is, as you're typing this document, as you're entering these references, the computer is keeping track of all these references for you. And by the way, it keeps track of all those references for all your documents and all your assignments. Now, to view those resources that are managed by the computer, you can just go under Manage Sources, and here you'll see a listing of all the resources that those on the right-hand side, those are what are being used in this assignment, what have been added to the assignment, and those here on the left are those that are included in the assignment plus additional ones. So, for example, there is this one, Information Security in the Digital Age. That is not on the right-hand side. That means that it's not used in this assignment. If, for some reason, you needed to reuse it or use that specific source, all you have to do is you click on Copy here on the right-hand side, to the right-hand side, and then click OK. Now, when we go to the bottom of our document, and here we are going to insert a new page, Basically, we're going to go under Insert, Page Break, and then at this point, we are going to insert under References, go back here to under Bibliography. Under Bibliography, you can choose to insert uh, References, Bibliography, or Works Cited, depending on what your assignment is. If we click here on, let's say, Works Cited, notice all of those are alphabetically listed and format it according to the APA standard. So you don't have to do anything else. Again, the way we did that was we went to the end of the document, clicked on bibliography, and then chose whether we wanted works cited or references, or you know, I'm inserting all three of them. Usually you don't have to do all three of them, but you can kind of see there's not really a whole lot of difference between the three options here. It just depends on the type of assignment that you're doing and what's required by that assignment. So that's how the citations and bibliography works in Word 365 and hopefully it was helpful. Mm -hmm.